Alright, this is a little bit like working backwards. We want to find the exact value of, and here we have something that looks pretty monstrosous. Cosine of 210 times the cosine of 180 plus the sine of 210 times the sine of 180. Okay, so first of all, before we start with this, uh, 210 and 180 are on your unit circles. So you simply could to insert all of these values and then go ahead and multiply these two together, these two together, and add them up. And that would not be a incorrect way to do that. But the other way to do that is to recognize this. So when I look at this, I see cosine and cosine, and I see sine and sine. I notice that they're added together. And then I notice that this 210 here also appears right here, and that this 180 here appears right here and here. So in other words, I look at this, and then I look at my identities, and I say, oh, this looks like the cosine of A minus B, because the 210 is my A, and the B, well that's my 180. So then I can just simply take this whole big thing and rewrite that as the cosine of 210 minus 180. And then I know that, I can figure it out, that 210 minus 180, well that's 30 degrees. And running out of room, let's move over here. Now I look at my unit circle and the cosine of 30 degrees, oh, square root of 3 over 2. So that's an example of, I call it working backwards, but this is the expanded side of an identity. In this case, it's the cosine difference identity. We're going to learn a lot more identities, um, and then you'll learn to recognize uh, the expanded versions and then write it in the um, more simple version like that. So that's the end of this example.